Auto Line on the Road from CES in Las Vegas is brought to you by our signature sponsor, ZF. See, think, act. And also by Gentex, a smarter vision. And by Magna, science fiction thinking, automotive reality. John Sutt is the Vice President of Hyundai Cradle. And first thing I gotta ask you, John, okay. what's Hyundai Cradle? So Cradle is the hub of uh, Hyundai's corporate venturing and open innovation business. It's also an acronym, which is the Center for Robotic Augmented Design and Living Experiences. Oh, I love that. Thank and you. speaking of which, here's an example of it. That's you gotta tell us about it. This looks like it just fell out of a science fiction movie. <laughs> but it's really based on kind of emerging or current technology. And it's basically, we have started with a question. What if a car with robotics could be designed to do different things that car, no car can do today? Like what? Like walk through a terrain that is impossible for even the most capable off-road vehicles, go over a five-foot wall, bridge a five-foot gap, go over a 15-foot wide river gap, or things like that. So the ultimate off-road capability machine. That, that's what we call it. We, call it, we gave it a, a new name, we think. Ultimate Mobility Vehicle, UMV. And so this almost looks like some of the stuff we've seen, uh, the Mars rovers that NASA put on Mars. Yeah. Was that part of your inspiration? Uh, not, not really. Uh, certainly, we did look at Mars rovers or other rovers and other science fiction concepts for inspiration and ideas, uh, but we really took the, the challenge here was, could we make a vehicle that could be part car, but also part robot at the same time. And what a beautiful model. Thank too. you. And you're, you're telling me all these legs yeah, articulate? Yeah, all, all these joints, it's, it's, uh, there's, there's five movable joints here. Just to, to demonstrate, there's here, we can also rotate it a little bit this way. We have a knee joint down here. We have another kind of ankle joint here to move the legs and also one that has more of a steering angle like that. It really gives it quite a bit of freedom. There's 24 um, uh, total degrees of freedom in this vehicle. Yeah. Which is yeah. an amazing statistic. Yeah. <laughs> right. Just amazing. Six per leg. Yeah. And I'm so impressed by this model. Why did you go, I mean, some people would have okay. just cobbled up something to get the idea across, but not with this level of articulation. Yeah, I, th I think what we want to do is really take it to the extreme. So this is really an experimental idea. So therefore, push it to the far extreme, farther than we think is, honestly, it might be farther than what's practical. But let's take it to the extreme, let's see what it can do, and if needed, we can pull it back into something simpler. But let's take it out there to what we think is possible, just to explore an area that really hasn't been explored before. What kind of ideas has this triggered that you go, ooh, here's a bit down the road, we could do something with this in production? Yeah, what we, what we think is that, you know, this vehicle, because it has not only um, uh, the regular suspension in certain modes, but maybe this maybe this could lead to a car that has really great driving dynamics. Because when you have a wheel that is attached to some articulating limbs or, or elements that give it great stability, great ride, kind of flat uh, characteristics in curves, and smoothness over bumpy or rough roads. And I love this big door opening too, yeah. because you know, as we talk more and more about mobility services and people getting in and out of cars all the time, I could see something like this starting to show up. In, in fact, uh, this we don't, it's, it's not actuated, but this door is meant to be like a gulbing door. So it's a large space that can be easy for a wheelchair or cargo to go in and out. Because this has legs, this vehicle can actually go flat on the ground and be very, very low height from the ground to the edge to enable easy access to wheelchairs or other wheeled uh, things. Not only not the size, but also the, the these ends also open up like a clamshell. So we have actually four points of access into this vehicle. Kind of like a cargo plane. Yes, like a cargo okay, plane. Okay, and there looks like some big opening on the roof or is that just something cool? It's, 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 it's kind of put a placeholder here for sensors or attachment points for rooftop capability. Um, like it, a drone, maybe? Like a drone, uh, it, yes, like a, like a drone or another hatch to uh, get out if you, if you need to. Okay. okay, what else am I missing? Well, let's see. Um, the concept is that there's essentially three parts, if you will. There's the body, and you can kind of see this line here is where the body is sitting on top of the chassis, 
which is houses the batteries and other um, kind of uh, critical electronics. And then we have the legs. So this concept, in fact, we could take off this body and then we could design something else, like a truck form factor, a regular sedan perhaps, and stick it right on top of here. So it's a truly modular concept. This top part could be anything according to the mission that is, that is suitable for this type of vehicle. Awesome, I love it. Uh, congratulations, <laughs> Thank I think you. you guys have really accomplished something here. I know it's way far out, yeah. but hey, that's what yeah. you know, concepts are all about. That's right, but we also uh, looked, uh, looked at the uh, emerging technology in electric actuators and batteries, and so even though the technology is not yet in production, we have a strong confidence that there's, there's not feasibility here. Yes, there's some engineering, but it's not, we're not inventing new science or new technology. Yeah. So maybe, just maybe, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this is the 2042 Hyundai Sonata. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Right. A part of, or a part of our new SUV and truck line. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Right. Thanks much, John. Oh, you're welcome. Much appreciated. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. yeah. Great, great. Tomorrow's vehicles will communicate with your house, make payments, even recognize you. Well, actually, at Gentex, we can make that happen today with the latest in digital vision, car-to-home automation, and vehicle-to-infrastructure technology, all secured by biometrics that provide vehicle security and cloud-based personalization. Plus, dimmable glass, self-darkening, energy-saving, privacy-producing glass for automotive uses and beyond. So consider Gentex for scalable features ready today based on tomorrow's emerging technology.